Rural fire departments in Siouxland rely heavily on community donations, and the COVID-19 pandemic has made that difficult to raise donations in person. KCAU 9 News reporter Lydia Vasquez tonight explains the impact on fundraising and shows us how some volunteer fire departments are making up for it. Lydia? Sophie, the fire departments I spoke with are all volunteer based. Firefighters say they do it because they love their community. And throughout the pandemic, the community has shown the same love for them. We've kind of had to shut down our fundraisers um, and get creative in other areas. Kara Pernick is a firefighter with Correctionville Fire and Rescue. She says when the pandemic first hit, there was a sense of panic about how the department was going to make up for in person donations. We've actually been very fortunate. Our, our budget for both of our ambulance and our fire department um, has been supplemented from random donations from the community. And the community just has really stepped up and gotten behind us, and we couldn't do it without them. As a volunteer fire department, Law and Fire and Rescue also relies on donations. Us raising money on our own helps us buy, purchase different things that you can see around here. Uh, a lot of it's purchased through our fundraising and that helps us keep us safe as well as keep other people safe as well. So whether it's gear or equipment or tools, trucks, it's all, a lot of it is impacted directly by our fundraising. Law and Assistant Chief Nate Nias says his department raises a lot of money with a yearly pancake breakfast. They hope to make it work this year but are keeping an eye on their money just in case. Mobile Fire Chief Jerry Saylor says his department also depends on community support. We've always been, I guess, very fortunate here in Mobile that the community has always supported us really well, and they've continued to do that. One way that we tried to be more involved um, is we started for the younger kids doing birthday drive-bys with the fire trucks. Chief Saylor says the department was able to hold one of its bigger fundraisers, a donation drive, because it doesn't require people to donate in person. Firefighters tell me it's been a challenge finding ways to make up for lost funds. But with creativity and community support, they've managed to adapt. Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.